Right now, new developments in the nation's opioid crisis. The tool once outlawed now being used to detect fentanyl. Also, preparing for the unexpected. We'll break down different ways to set up a rainy day fund. And temperatures are starting out below freezing. We're going to slowly try to warm up this week. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Leah Lindside. I'm Chris Stanford. Kelly Slifko with your first horn forecast this morning. And it's like... You know, May's not right around the corner. It's like we're still stuck in these, like, early March temperatures, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, you know, we had that one nice week of 80s, and now we're in the, well, we're in the 40s this weekend. It was snowing yeah. on Saturday afternoon. Not so cool, Mother Nature. Yeah, Mother Nature. Cool. April, April is just one of those months where it just can't quite make up its mind, and that's what we obviously have seen this April as well. Uh, 29 right now in Madison, 26 in the Dells, 23 three in Lone Rock, so definitely need a heavier jacket this morning. It will be cool today, but at least we'll get out of the 40s. A little bit of sunshine this morning should help our temperatures out a little bit. Can't rule out a few showers developing later today. It's just going to be kind of a nuisance shower, not uh, expecting a lot of rain out of it. And we are expecting some 60s to return finally later in the week. Uh, starting off with some sun, but as we get into the uh, noon hour, early afternoon, we'll start to see these clouds thicken up. Temperatures throughout the morning in the 40s, I think we'll top out in the lower 50s later today, and we can't roll out a spotty shower or a sprinkle, not going to amount to too much. So as you plan your day, just start uh, starting off cool this morning, need that heavier jacket. We'll rise to the 30s, 40s primarily this morning. We'll talk more about that warm up and when we can expect uh, more rain in our forecast coming up in just All a right. bit. Sounds good, Kelly. Thank you. We want to get back to our breaking news this morning. Cruz and Sun Prairie responding to a fire at a gas station there. Uh, this is at the BP on County Highway Double T. It's right near the Cottage Grove Park and Ride. Dispatch tells us that some crews are still there on the scene. We get confirmation here in that video uh, from our DOT traffic camera in the area. Now, some crews, yep, they are there still. Uh, we don't know uh, exactly what happened. We can tell you, though, that the fire is out at the moment. Stay with News 3 now this morning as we follow it throughout the day. New this morning, there's an effort to protect against fentanyl as it becomes a leading cause of death among Americans. The CDC says nearly 70% of opioid overdose deaths are related to the synthetic drug. Now test kits are available to help detect it. You can find them in places like pizza shops across the country. The strips have long been considered drug paraphernalia and have been illegal in many states, but over the last year, more and more states are decriminalizing them. I think for somebody who already is abusing drugs, the difference between having these strips and not having these strips is the opportunity to go to rehab versus be killed instantly. Wisconsin's Department of Health Services recently handed out more than 120,000 test strips nationwide, statewide rather. And Public Health Madison Dane County also offers test strips along with free Narcan. A closer look at the problem here in Wisconsin, where fentanyl overdoses are on the rise. There are the latest numbers right here from the DHS. Over the past year, synthetic opioids like fentanyl were identified in 91% of overdose deaths. Fentanyl deaths in Wisconsin grew by 97% in three years, culminating in almost 1,300 deaths in 2021. As many as 40% of counterfeit pills contain enough fentanyl to be lethal. In a fight against drug overdoses and pollution, the Verona Police Department hosted a drug buyback event over the weekend. Multiple agencies across Dane County partnering together for this offering an anonymous, no questions asked way of disposing of medications. After collecting, the meds are boxed up and sent to another state to be incinerated to stay out of the environment or the wrong hands. Unfortunately, pharmaceuticals are having trace uh, amounts uh, found in our water treatment plants. So we're trying to mitigate that and then also to get them out of people's uh, medicine cabinets so they can't be abused potentially. There will be another countywide drug take back day. It happens on the third Tuesday of August. To campaign 2024 news this morning, big names in both parties are gearing up for the race for president. President Biden is expected to announce his bid for re-election tomorrow. And former Pre Vice President Mike Pence says he's close to making a decision as well. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott is also considering a run. Donald Trump is the front runner for the GOP right now. Still no official decision from Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, a distant second in the polls behind Trump. Speaking of the polls, there's some hesitation for both frontrunners this morning. A new NBC poll says 70% of Americans don't think President Biden should run again, citing his age as a major reason why. 60% don't want former President Trump to run again either. 38% of respondents say they're, quote, exhausted with the idea of a Biden-Trump rematch. 
Uh, we're following some developing news in the Sudan this morning. Embassy workers in Sudan are evacuated from the building this morning on orders by President Biden. It comes as fighting between two rival generals has intensified, fueling fears the country could be on the brink of civil war. U.S. Special Forces have successfully evacuated dozens of American personnel from the embassy, including diplomatic workers and a U.S. Marine attachment. In a tweet, Anthony Blinken said that operations at the embassy, which include consular services, have been suspended. The State Department says there are no immediate plans to evacuate the hundreds of U.S. civilians who currently live there. More local news this morning. A Janesville man is under arrest in connection with a fatal head-on crash over the weekend. Around 6 Sunday morning, crews responded to a two-vehicle head-on crash on County Road D. Police say a 49-year-old man from Janesville was driving north when he crossed the center line and hit a 54-year-old Janesville woman driving south. She was pronounced dead at the scene. The man was taken to the hospital for minor injuries. He's facing charges of homicide by intoxicated use of a vehicle. Madison's transgender community came together over the weekend for their second annual Trans Joy event. Under the pavilion at Vilas Park, roughly 400 people gathered for songwriting, tie-dyeing, banner decorating, face painting, and more. But for those attending, the best part of Trans Joy, they say, isn't the activities, the resources, or even the freebies. Instead, it was a sense of community. We're not strange. We're not weird. Um, we're just like everybody else, and events like this show that there's a lot of, there can be a lot of love for the transgender community, and we want to make sure that people know that. TransJoy, just one of many events scheduled for 2023. Next month will mark 20 years of business for the Monona Farmers Market. The market started in 2003. This year it will welcome 28 vendors every week. Organizers say the market serves about 1,500 people every week. You can visit the market at Ahuska Park on Sunday mornings uh, from May through October at 8.30 a.m. till 12.30. Well, a big reopening on the UW campus this morning. The Baki Recreational Center will open its doors to students starting at 11 o'clock. It replaces the old natatorium on campus. It features a lot, a 25-yard pool eight multi-purpose courts, a sub-zero ice arena, a climbing wall, sports simulators, not done yet, a rooftop fitness <laughs> area as well, and even more, we're told. Again, it goes 11 o'clock this morning. 607, from inflation to unemployment, having an emergency fund is important now, maybe more than ever. As Consumer Reports explains, starting one might not be that tough either. Here's Shane Hogan. If you're lucky, things are going well right now. You have a steady paycheck, you pay your bills on time, and you might even have a little extra money left over. We've all experienced major financial emergencies, an unexpected home repair, medical bills, or even loss of income. Lisa Gill writes about personal finance for Consumer Reports. Having a rainy day fund to cover these types of unplanned expenses can protect you from major debt which could easily turn into a financial crisis. Financial planner Nestor Vargas says that putting aside enough to cover three to six months of essential expenses is a good rule of thumb. Essential expenses are housing, food, transportation, debt repayment. And so what you want to do is you want to sit down, figure out how much that is on a monthly basis, multiply it times three or six to come up with the actual number you need to save for your emergency fund. Once you determine your savings target, don't let that number daunt you definitely important to start saving as much as you can or as little as you can. If it's $5, $10 a month, you'll be surprised how quickly that adds up. An online savings calculator can show you how much you'll need to set aside each month to reach your goal and how quickly that money will grow. Consumer Reports suggest putting money into a high-yield savings bank or certificate of deposit. Many of those accounts now have interest rates over 4%. And make saving even easier by setting automatic deposits or transfers from your checking account to your emergency fund. It will keep your contributions on track and secure until you need them. This is Shane Hogan. Thank you, Shane. Having an emergency savings account is important, but you might have some high interest credit card debt to deal with, too. For more on paying off credit card debt, visit ConsumerReports.org. Well, the Bucks, they're in a bad spot this morning. They're going to be playing from behind tonight in the opening round of the NBA playoffs. They've been missing their big man. We'll have an injury update on Giannis coming up in sports, though. And we're in the 608 this morning with how you can bike the Berg this coming summer. We'll have all the details on why you should be a part of this challenge and explore the area when News 3 Now this morning continues.
Deer exit strategy. All your pieces are in place. Thanks for being there when I need you most. Always Toyota SUVs. Toyota. Let's go places. We, we're doing everything we can to reduce our carbon footprint. We are 100% employee owned. We are Barnes. Landscape design can be overwhelming. Our experienced residential landscape designers work together with you to make any vision come to life. Welcome to Barnesville. From planting to tree and shrub pruning, seeding to sodding, mowing to mulching, and everything in between. Discover the Barnes difference. Get started at barnesinc.net. One day, I will rock that swimsuit. Your one day is closer than you think. From fresh meals to one-on-one -on -one coaching, Jenny Craig is weight loss made simple. Your one day starts today. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado and new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus. Make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups. Or current Chevy owners get 37.50 total cash allowance on all 2023 Silverado pickups with a turbo high open engine. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. The pain level was over 10, and my doctor recommended that I go to Good Feet and try the arch supports there. It was the first time that I had no pain. Thanks to the Good Feet store. When the Murrays discovered Gain Scent Beats, they fell in love with the irresistible scent. <laughs> so did their dog, Roger. Gain Scent Beats keep even the stinkiest stuff smelling fresh. Recent hailstorms in your neighborhood may have caused damage to your roof. Don't let fly-by-night, out-of-the-state, inexperienced roofers rip you off. Who should you trust to fix your roof and do it right? Fry Construction. For more than 20 years, Fry Construction and Home Improvement has continued to earn the trust of area homeowners. And when the roof over your family is damaged, we jump into action. After all, we're your neighbor too. Call Fry Construction and Home Improvement now to get your free hail inspection. Dear Exit Strategy. All your pieces are in place. Thanks for being there when I need you most. Always Toyota SUVs. Toyota, let's go places. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. We're back. Checking out what's going on in the 608 this morning. Hey, it's almost time to bike the Berg, everybody. Yeah, Josh Brunner's live in Fitchburg with all the details on this year's challenge. Sounds pretty cool, Josh. <laughs> Hey, this is so awesome, and I feel like I warmed up that bell a little bit. Before we went to commercial break, it was sounding a little dull. It's like, come on, we need a little bit more energy on a Monday morning, and this is going to be a great way to kick off the summer coming up next week. We're talking about the Bike the Berg Challenge that kicks off May 1st, and we know that this area is known for biking. Right now here in Fitchburg, there are three state trails. There are three local paths. Of course, we're really close to the Military Ridge State Trail. Uh, right now, we're coming to you from Seminole Road and also Seminole Highway and McKee Road. This is where one of the newest B cycle stations are here in Fitchburg with more planned to come later this year. So no excuses whether you have a bike or not. There is a way to get out. Take a look at this video from the Fitchburg Chamber of Commerce. They're really their inspiration behind this challenge coming up this summer. They're hoping that folks are going to get out and moving, explore the outdoors and really check out what we have in our local area and why this is so important. Participants will be challenged log 150 miles this summer. You can keep track of your miles on your own using any method that works for you, whether that's on your phone and app or your computer. Just get out and explore. Super easy here. So the Bike the Berg Challenge kicks off one week from today, running May 1st through September 30th. So plenty of time to get out there this year. Participants can register for free or for $10 and receive the Bike the Berg t-shirt. Those taking part will also be entered into several drawings and are eligible to win fabulous prizes from local businesses. So this is really a community effort getting those local businesses involved. Back out here live, you know, 
sometimes we need somebody to help us stay accountable, right? You can actually sign up for these bike rides with other people. Some are a little bit more relaxed where they just, you know, give you a time, you show up, you go. Some are a little bit more scheduled where it might be a whole day or a weekend event. But 150 miles really isn't a lot when you think about it. You can actually do quite a bit in one single day once the weather warms up, of course. And you know, it's actually feeling more like spring and summer. If you'd like to learn more, you can go up to the story at channel3000.com. Guys, get up, bike the Berg again next week, 150 miles. I love biking. I've got a great bike. It was one of the first things I did when I moved to the city of Madison five years ago is I went out and got a bike because I knew just how much I wanted to get out and check out the area, especially with all of our lakes, rivers, woods, you name it, we've got it here. Well, what else do you need to know? $10 t-shirt. $10 t-shirt. Chris is hung up on the t-shirt. It's a good price for a t-shirt. It is. It is quite the deal. <laughs> thank you, Josh. Hey, that is a good price. Inflation. That is it a is. good price. That's easy. All right, Josh Breider, thank you very much. <laughs> Remember to let Josh know what inspires you. There's his Instagram, Twitter, Facebook handle, and his email if you'd like to be featured. All right, 150 miles. How long does it take Kelly Slifka to log 150 uh, miles? 150, good let's question. see. I mm, that, that would take uh, several hours, I'm pretty sure. Uh, hopefully we can get over this hump and get some nice warm weather to get out and do some biking. I think after the next six, seven, eight days, we are expecting below average temperatures here across the eastern half of the United States. But you notice that it's plunging all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. That's actually good news for us because that cold air has got to run out at some point. And I think as we go into next week, uh, we will start to see some of that warmer air headed our way. We just got to be a little bit patient. Of course, it is April. We typically have to deal with some kind of uh, weather all over the place. Uh, river flood outlook. We still have the river flooding here along the Mississippi River. Could be breaking levels we haven't seen in 20 years. So some major flooding expected along the Mississippi River all the way down through Iowa. All right, cool temperatures today. At least we're out of the 40s. We're getting in the 50s this afternoon. May see a few showers develop later today into tonight, but it's going to be just more nuisance showers than anything. We will see a warm up uh, out ahead of a cold front, but unfortunately that cold front will arrive next weekend and bring us another shot of some colder air. Uh, temperatures this afternoon with the clouds rolling in in the low 50s across most of the area. We're starting out 29, so we are below freezing here. Madison 26 in the Dells, 23 in Camp Douglas, 32 in Janesville, 32 also in Middleton, Cottage Grove. Uh, 29 Stoughton currently at 28 Rockdale sitting at 30. So it's a chilly start to our morning and actually we should typically be in the lower 60s. We'll get there later this week at least briefly with some southerly winds. That's out ahead of a cold front that will bring us another unfortunately rainy weekend with temperatures only in the lower 50s. I think as we get into Wednesday and Thursday of next week, we're going to see these temperatures really start to climb later next week. So we just got to be patient for that. Clouds will roll in. Can't rule out a spotty shower rolling in during the afternoon hours into the evening as temperatures get up into the lower 50s. We should be in the lower 60s this time of the year. May see a brief shower develop later today through tonight. And we'll still be in the 50s through Wednesday, 60s Thursday and Friday, but another cloudy, cool weekend with a chance of some rain showers Saturday and Sunday. ago yesterday the Packers took Aaron Rodgers 24th overall in the 2005 draft now fast forward to now and trade talks for the fourth time MVP have resumed between Green Bay and the Jets that's what NFL Network's Ian Rappaport is reporting he says the organizations have re-engaged after a quiet couple of weeks adding that the teams hope they can complete a deal this week Rodgers made his intentions known last month on the Pat McAfee show to play for the Jets now remember the NFL draft begins on Thursday it's been next man up mentality for the Bucks as they've been without their two time MVP for the last two games. As of now, his status for game four against the Heat is questionable. Sunday afternoon, Giannis did some individual work out on the court because he's been recovering from a lower back injury that he suffered a week ago in the play in the playoff series opener. Coach Bud talked Sunday afternoon saying that they're going to continue to monitor him and see how he feels. The collaboration, the communication, it's got to be the player and the medical group, the player and the coach, the player and uh, the front office or the GM. He always, you know, wants to, to make himself available. He does everything to make himself available. He wants to play. But I think there's also a maturity uh, for Giannis and an understanding and a growth that I think, uh, you know, we just respect and I think he respects us. Game four is tonight with tip off at 630. Then the series will come back to Milwaukee. Game five is Wednesday night at Pfizer Forum.
When it comes to protecting home field, Brewers pretty much have that on lock. Heading into the rubber match Sunday with the Red Sox, the crew had only dropped two games at AmFam. But Sunday, things just didn't go as planned. In the fourth inning, they're down by three runs. Brian Anderson drills his first of two homers on the day. The Brewers are actually able to erase the deficit. So it's tied up in the seventh. And that's when a wild pitch allows Joey Weimer to score the go-ahead run. But that lead is short-lived because disaster strikes in the eighth. The Sox score nine runs. Five of those come from Masataka Yoshida, a solo homer and a grand slam. The Sox win at 12 to 5. The Brewers begin a three-game series with the Tigers tonight. First pitch is at 640. Back to you. Thanks, Jordan. Coming up next, a homecoming to remember for thousands of U.S. sailors. And ahead in our next half hour, how a Madison Road construction project will change the look of a holiday tradition. And as we had to break, let's take a look at gas prices on your Monday morning. We'll be right back. Call for action only on News 3 Now. Cobus and Buses, now hiring. My name's Mike Williams. I've been driving school bus off and on for 21 years. Here at our terminal, we're kind of like a family too. Somebody has an issue with a bus, other people kick in and help and get the job done. When an appliance you rely on goes kaput, you can count on family-owned Brothers Maine, Southern Wisconsin's local appliance authority since 1938. With thousands of in-stock options, we have the brands you want at the lowest prices guaranteed. Even big box can't beat our prices. Our experienced team of appliance experts will help you make the right selection, and we deliver it fast and free to your home. What you need when you need it. Shop appliances you can bring home today at our Madison and Janesville showrooms. Feel like family. Brothers Maine. Why are there two extra seats? Are we getting two Great Danes? I know, giant Uncle Dana has giant beard. Maybe a dragon. Twin sisters! And one is a robot and one is a knight. And I'll be on the side of the octopus. The Volkswagen Atlas with best in class third row legroom. Visit your local Volkswagen dealer for 4.9% APR financing for 72 months on a new 2023 Atlas or Atlas Cross Sport. It's Make My Monday at Hy-Vee. One day only this Monday. Get Hy-Vee pasta for just 88 cents. Eight ounce Hy-Vee Choice Reserve sirloins, just $3.99. Roma pizza, just $1.99. Six pack Coke products for just $2.99. Little Debbie snacks, three for just $5. And Hy-Vee ketchup for only 99 cents. That's Make My Monday. One day only this Monday. And only at Hy-Vee. <laughs> Life's better under our roof Because when you feel totally protected You can enjoy the dreams you've worked so hard to achieve Save up to 27% when you bundle home, auto, and life American Family Insurance Get a quote and find an agent at amfam.com Mmm, strawberries, blueberries, and the cherry on top. Fairlife, with 50% more protein, 50% less sugar, and the creamy taste. Turn scrumptious into scrumptious. Fairlife, ultra-filtered milk. Very loud. It sounds like a bull running through a china shop. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. People don't realize how nice a door can run until they get it serviced. It's whisper quiet. Your neighbors will thank you. Precision door service, a name you can trust. Cobuson Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobuson, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit cobuson.com to apply. Good morning, everybody. Let's take a look at Linda's morning. Uh, it's a cardinal. Yeah, she is uh, catering to me. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Favorite bird out there. We have a couple of these that's in our right. backyard, and that's just such a daymaker. They're beautiful. Now, here's uh, here's the next step to this question. Is it a male or a female? It's a male. Male cardinal. Yeah. You knew that. I'm learning. I'm learning. Stop stuff. it. I was like 60-40 on the male-female Now you're thing. being silly. Well, the males are typically more colorful. Yeah, because they got to attract those suitors. They're the ones out there singing. You guys are weird. <laughs> 
Thanks, Linda, for a beautiful <laughs> my morning. We love the Highland Cardinals. This is a male. Don't we all? Send in your pictures. Use that hashtag, my news three morning. Especially if they're birds, we love to hear Stanford guess. I got that guide now. Yeah. Uh, and it's helping. You've been it studying, huh? <laughs> He's been studying up. Hey, thousands of U.S. sailors back home this morning, and it was a homecoming worth sharing. Take a look at this. You love to see it. The USS George H.W. Bush pulling back into a naval station in Norfolk, Virginia, Sunday morning. Some of these sailors were gone for about nine months. Lots of hugs, kisses, laughs, and even some tears. Sailors say the men and women logged more than 63,000 miles on the water, and the air wing logged over 25,000 flight hours. Wow. Mm. Uh, don't you love to see this? You know, the troop homecoming, the soldier homecomings are always special to cover um, just because of all the emotion and everything that surrounds it. Um, you know, it's a, it's a story of America. You, you said earlier, too. it's very nostalgic. It feels like, you know, old time video. The uniforms. I love them. And the big ships. Right? It's very neat. I know, it's cool. Well, welcome. Thank you. We'd love to see it. 625, Kelly Slifka, cold start to our week, huh? Yeah, we are starting below freezing. Many areas, 29 in Madison, 32 in Janesville, 26 in the Adels. A little bit of sunshine this morning, but the uh, clouds will fill in later this morning into the afternoon. At least we'll get out of the 40s today. Can't rule out a spotty showers. We get in the low 50s this afternoon. Winds will be pretty light, so that's not going to be a factor. But more clouds than sun this afternoon. Can't rule out a spotty shower. 50s the next few days, but 60s Thursday and Friday before some more cooler weather arrives for the weekend. All right, thanks, Kelly. We'll, back, uh, we'll be back right after this. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. It's time to march into deer season. Get your John Deere 1025R with a 120R loader for just $195 per month. Get a John Deere now. And power up at Sloan's. Think Sloan's first. Join the circle of life at the Lion King. Experience the world's number one musical. Don't miss your chance to see The Lion King, one of the most awe-inspiring productions ever brought to life on stage. Coming to Overture Center May 11th through 28th. Tickets on sale now at Overture.org. Good news. This just in. Your Ford dealers have fresh shipments of their award-winning SUV lineup in stock and ready for you to drive home today. Get your hands on a new Ford, the number one brand in SUV owner loyalty, including Bronco Sport with standard GOAT modes and Explorer, America's all-time best-selling SUV. And now, here's more good news. Choose FlexBuy on Escape and get 0% APR financing for 66 months only at your local Ford dealer. My mom says that Briars is made with real milk. I think I can hear the mooing. <laughs> Briars Natural Vanilla is made with 100% grade A milk and cream and only sustainably farmed vanilla. Better starts with Briars. Dove 0% is different. We left aluminum out and put unbeatable 48 hour freshness and one quarter moisturizers in. Dove 0% aluminum deodorant. Instantly dry feel and kind on skin. Keep it down. Oh, hey, sorry. I can't stop these kids from rocking, but I can help you replace all this. Rock on! With free installation on Felco windows, siding, doors, and roofing, plus no money down, no payments, and no interest for one year. There's never been a better time to upgrade your home. This offer ends Sunday. Hurry. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for Feltco. I set a goal to get in better shape, but working on my feet for hours made me say no to exercise. Then I discovered good feet supports could reduce the stress to my feet, knees, and back. So now I say yes to walking more, moving more, exercising more. So am I burning fat and getting healthy? Well... <laughs> With 9,900 steps today, that's a yes. I'm Rachel, and this is my Good Feet story. Come into a Good Feet store. Thanks to the Good Feet store. 
time to march into deer season. Get your John Deere Gator utility vehicle with 0% for 36 months and no money down. Get a John Deere Gator now and power up its loans. Think Sloan's first. Right now, outrage over a locker room incident at a Sun Prairie High School. New reaction from the district as it stands its ground. And some photos at a Prairie Sheen this morning where near record flooding is underway. One emergency crews expect the water to go down. And it's a very chilly start to our morning. Most locations below freezing starting out in the upper 20s and low 30s. Gradual warm up throughout the week. Well, good Monday morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Leah Lynchide. Thanks for waking up with us. We are searching for a silver lining in that forecast. Another day of cold, Kelly. Yeah, chilly today. At least we're getting out of the 40s. But, uh, you know, we typically should be in the lower 60s, at least our average high. Of course, April is kind of uh, all over the place typically here. I think we'll have to deal with another week generally of some cool weather. But after that, we should start to see some warmer weather. Uh, 29 in Mass and 26 in the Dells. So you'll need that heavier jacket headed off to a work or school this morning, but we do have clear skies. You can see out in Platteville looking at the uh, sunshine as it's coming up on the horizon. Temperatures in the uh, 50s today. Now we do have clear skies for now, but some clouds will start to increase later this morning into the afternoon. That will produce a few showers and we are looking at some 60s later in the week. But that's out ahead of a cold front that will bring us some more cool weather for the upcoming weekend. So clouds will start to fill in later this morning into the afternoon as temperatures get into the lower 50s. Still a little bit better than where we were yesterday. Can't rule out a spotty shower, mainly a sprinkle here and there. Otherwise, increasing clouds today with temperatures in the lower 50s getting off to that cool start. We'll talk more about the rest of the week forecast and our rain chances as well coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you very much. Let's take a live look now at the Mississippi Flyway on Lake Onalaska, a gorgeous sight just outside La Crosse this morning. Nearly every community along the Mississippi is experiencing major flooding right now. The river is expected to rise just about two feet below record levels. It should fall below those major levels on Sunday. That's a beautiful shot, by mm -hmm. the way. I am prairie to Sheen this morning. Take a look at these new pictures from Crawford County. Entire roads and parks underwater in that town this morning. That flooding there expected to crest later this week at over 25 feet. Meantime, the town's opening up evacuation centers and handing out sandbags to houses that will need them. You can stay on top of any major flooding in your area, along with any other severe weather in the forecast, by downloading the First Warn Weather app. Just search for WISC Weather in your app store. To another big story this morning, the Sun Prairie School District has called some accounts of an alleged locker room incident last month ill-informed, inaccurate, and incomplete. In a letter, Will claims administrators failed to inform the school's Title IX coordinator and failed to contact the girl's parents after learning about the incident. The district statement coming after the Conservative Law Institute or the Conservative Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty sent a letter to the district. That letter claims that a student who identified as transgender exposed themselves to a group of female students who were showering in the Sun Prairie East girls locker room. Back to that statement, the district says that it spoke with students and families involved after the incident and took steps to ensure that something similar doesn't happen again. The statement reads in part, we know it's easy to blame the school district for events like this when people are outraged. The simple truth is that this incident should not have happened, but it did and the district addressed it long before the recent publicity. An update now. Middleton police are still looking for a man they say walked into a stranger's home over the weekend. It happened on North High Point Road, just across the Beltline from the Comfort Suites Hotel. A resident reported a man they didn't know entered their home. They were reportedly able to scare that intruder off. Any witnesses in the area, if you might have seen something, you should call Middleton Police or the Madison Area Crime Stoppers. Happening today, a man arrested in February for making threats against UW-Madison on social media will be in court. Thomas Hansen has been charged with making terrorist threats against the university near the end of February. Police did not say what kind of threats were made, only that they were posted on the social media platform Yik Yak. The threats were made a couple of weeks after the deadly shooting at Michigan State University that killed three students and injured five. Hansen's in court for an arraignment this morning. The Dane County Humane Society is welcoming several out-of-state dogs to its facilities today. The dogs are being flown from Texas, where animal shelters are facing extreme overcrowding. A nonprofit is flying the 80 high-risk dogs to three airports around the Midwest. The dogs are going to be up for adoption at the Humane Society. You're also encouraged to become a foster volunteer. More gun violence is rattling multiple communities across the U.S. Sheriff's deputies are investigating a couple of shootings in southeast Texas that happened on Sunday. One that happened 
at an after prom party in the early morning in Jasper, a couple hours northwest of Houston. Investigators say someone opened fire at the party and injured nine teenagers who are expected to recover. Then there was another shooting that happened in the same city afterwards, but it's unclear if the two shootings are related. This as the two Tennessee lawmakers who recently made headlines prepare to meet with President Joe Biden today. We need um, emergency response because we're facing a crisis situation and that um, in states like ours, we need help from our, our national leaders. It is also to think about beyond executive orders, what other authority exists within departments and agencies uh, that the president is ultimately responsible for. Meanwhile, Friday in Washington, D.C., police still looking for suspects in back-to-back -back shootings that wounded eight people, including a 12-year-old girl. A favorite holiday tradition in Madison will look a little different next year. If you've ever driven down University Avenue during the holidays, you know what we're talking about. Our Nicole Herzog has the story. I find out a week ago that they're taking out practically half the trees, which uh, was quite a shock. I didn't know, I wasn't aware it was going to be that many. Over 30 years ago, Chris Cammer's father had the idea to plant trees along the parking lot of his dental practice. Uh, he said, someday I want to light all these trees up. Since then, it's become a holiday tradition carried on by the Cammer Family Foundation. But now, plans to make walking and biking easier in the area mean 300 feet of those beloved trees have to be taken down. The city of Madison will place a pedestrian bridge over University Bay Drive, plus a widened sidewalk on University Avenue to make room for a bike and walking path. The bike path and the, the bridge that is to come, awesome, wonderful, what a gift to the city. Um, of course, a little sad that the, the, the trees that we planted some over 30 years ago and the, the, the long display that has become so cherished by so many is uh, cut in half. But it isn't all bad news. Some trees will still remain, and Cammer says he's hopeful they'll be able to keep the tradition going. I'm uplifted and, and positive that somehow we'll replace these trees, we'll relight them, so hang in there, people. I hope it'll come back. That was Nicole Herzog reporting. Well, take a look at this. It's been 50 years since I've a lot of excitement in Piedmont, Missouri. It was 1973 where when multiple sightings of UFOs happened all across town. There were accounts of sightings by students coming home from a basketball game, people out and about, and a lot of others. It even attracted the attention of the government. It's unclear what exactly the whole, uh, what everybody saw. They still don't know 50 years later, but they have embraced it. Piedmont, Missouri, uh, they make a thing out of it to attract tourists. Uh, there you go, 50 years since uh, some UFO sightings in Piedmont, Missouri. Quite the tourism <laughs> strategy there. We'll see if it plays out. Hmm. All right, it is 637. Let's take a live look outside. Coming up, we have an update on a breaking news story about a fire at a gas station in Sun Prairie. The latest ahead. And billions of your tax dollars going to fund clean energy projects. Coming up next, how the money will be doled out. Get 11% off everything at Menards. Create your dream bathroom with Sterling tubs and showers that fit your style and budget. Like the Sterling Ensemble Tub and Shower. Its durable high-gloss finish provides lasting beauty. Get one for $639.99 after 11% off. Finish the renovation with new flooring. This stylish Palmero waterproof vinyl plank flooring is durable and easy to maintain. On sale for just 99 cents per square foot after 11% off at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Spring into action and save on stressless seating at the Century House. Now get $400 off all classic power recliners, signature base recliners and ottomans, and cross base recliners and ottomans. And get $400 off most sofas and love seats. Imagine how much you can save building your dream sectional. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. Would you look at that? It's beautiful. He even remember the napkins. Well, that's our boy. So proud. There's a deal for every sunrise at McDonald's. Try one of our tasty bagel sandwiches like the steak, egg, and cheese bagel, sausage, egg, and cheese bagel, or bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. 
Chevy Silverado and new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or current Chevy owners get 3750 total cash allowance on all 2023 Silverado pickups with a turbo high open engine. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. It's easier to manage my chemo side effects since a great supportive care came to see me. They're taking the time to listen and talk about options for feeling better. A grace, caring every step of the way. When you prefer dream vacation over a rental nightmare. The sun tight. It matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. Find out what factors drive the decision to open and close the Beltline's flex lane. Get a look inside Wisconsin's nerve center that monitors and controls the flex lane and keeps an eye on roadways throughout the state. Thursday at 6. News 3 now, first worn weather. Trust the experience of Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti and the first worn weather team to help you plan your day and alert you whenever and wherever you need it. First worn weather, keeping you ahead of the storms. You're watching News 3 now this morning. Back to our breaking news in Sun Prairie this morning. Uh, there's a fire to gas station going on. We've got a live look, so let's pull that up and uh, see what's happening there. This is at the BP on County Highway Double T. It's right near the Cottage Grove Park and Ride. Dispatch tells us that some crews are still there at the scene. Uh, hard to make out from this live shot, though, if they are still hanging around, though. Uh, they do tell us that the fire is out at the moment. Uh, here's what else we know, uh, some of the bullet points, the details of that fire at the BP in Sun Prairie. Stay with News 3 Now this morning as we learn more. 641, the Environmental Protection Agency has new plans to implement a $23 billion clean energy loan program. The EPA will work through nonprofits to hand out the money for that. The agency is pursuing a strategy where several so-called hub nonprofits would distribute the money through a competitive process. The funds will be split to help finance tens of thousands of clean energy projects, low-income and disadvantaged communities, as well as a Solar for All grant competition. 641, checking with Kelly Slifkin now. This is not okay this time of year, <laughs> Kelly. Look at this. Well, can you imagine if this you're in Memphis, sad. you're talking about a frost advisory True, this morning. Yeah. Uh, so this cold air is just really digging deep down in the south. Some of northern Alabama, Mississippi even under frost uh, advisories this morning. Freeze warnings just down to our south. So we got a cold start to our morning, but it is actually affecting much of the eastern half of the uh, country. Uh, 29 in Madison, 32 in Janesville. 27 in the Adele, so a very cold start to our morning. Definitely bundle up. At least we do have clear skies for now. We will see some sunshine uh, throughout the morning hours as temperatures starting out near 30. Actually, on our weather check, you can see some clouds. You can barely see that on our infrared satellite. Starting to spread through uh, western Wisconsin, even actually some snow showers up there toward Eau Claire. Some of those clouds will increase, and we can't rule out a spotty shower. Not looking at much, so so we do have a uh, ri uh, risk of some flooding along the Mississippi River. In fact, uh, likely to be getting close to 20-year highs. Uh, down toward La Crosse and also Dubuque. So uh, cool today, but at least we're out of the 40s. We'll look at some 50s this afternoon, so maybe about 10 degrees warmer than yesterday. Can't rule out a few of those showers moving in. And uh, 60s later in the week, and that's where we sh typically should be for this time of April. Of course, we're in the last week of April. We do have the uh, sunshine right now. Only expecting 51. Our average high now is 61, so we're running 10 degrees below our average for this time of the year. So we've got the uh, sun this morning. The clouds will thicken up as we get toward the uh, noon hour. Temperatures this morning in the 40s, gradually getting into the lower 50s later today. Can't rule out a spotty shower later this afternoon into the evening. I don't think it'll amount to too much. So we've got the uh, jet stream way down the south. That's just allowing all that colder air to come out of Canada. And the upper level low is just kind of hung up here in the Great Lakes states, and that's why it's been so cool throughout the weekend and much of this week. I think by Thursday and Friday we'll get a brief warm up, but you see some of that colder air just kind of rotating back in as we go into the upcoming weekend. So kind of like last uh, this last weekend, we'll see some cool weather 
and also some un unsettled weather, expecting some rain showers going into Saturday and Sunday. First warm forecast clouds will thicken up today. Can't rule out a spotty shower going into the afternoon and evening hours. Temperatures in the low 50s through Wednesday, gradually warming up into the low 60s out ahead of a cold front that may bring in some thunderstorms later Friday. And then we're back into some cooler weather by Saturday and Sunday. All right, Kelly, thank you very much. Quarter to six, hopefully that weather is going to turn more summer like here because it's time to get out and bike the Berg in the 608. Sure is. Josh Breider is live in Fitchburg this morning to tell us all about this year's challenge. Hey there, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. The sun feels good. I kind of just want to turn towards the sunshine because that's about all we have for good news right now at this hour with this cold weather. But, you know, we're talking about getting outdoors and exploring the area. And there's a great new challenge called Bike the Berg that is going to help you do just that. Of course, Fitchburg is known for many bike paths. We have three straight uh, state trails and three local paths. I'm just off the Military Ridge State Trail. So there are a ton of trails here. And whether you have a bike, for yourself or B cycle, which is now up in Fitchburg. They've got more of these stations opening up later this year. This is actually Kat Culbertson's art bike. We featured her work before. There are plenty of ways to get out and do it. So the Fitchburg Chamber of Commerce is hoping that you will get out for the Bike the Berg Challenge. It's a great way to get moving, get outdoors and explore the local area. Participants will be challenged to log 150 miles this summer. You can keep track of your miles on your own using any method that works for you, whether that's your phone, an app, or your computer. It's super easy. The Bike the Berg Challenge kicks off one week from today, running May 1st through September 30th. Participants can register for free, or you can also pay $10 and get a Bike the Berg t-shirt. So that's a pretty good deal there. Those taking part will also be entered into several drawings and are eligible to win prizes from local businesses that are partnering up with the Chamber as well. Back out here live, if you'd like to learn more information, you can go to channel3000.com. I posted everything there, and there's also ways for you to get involved with local biking groups. So if you need someone to you know, help you stay accountable, some are a little bit more relaxed, some are a little bit more scheduled, where they're a whole day or weekend events, uh, they have those planned throughout. So if you need help to be able to get to that 150, uh, there is help out there, guys. But what a way to get out. Uh, kind of a fun little challenge for local prizes. Uh, get out, support the local area, support local businesses. We know we are so lucky to live here uh, and so many wonderful bike paths out there. Now, if only if Kelly Slifka could get the weather uh, in our in our right. way here so I don't have to bundle up like this every day. It's like I'm sick of wearing the hat, the mitten, the gloves, all that stuff. But maybe we're, we'll get there eventually. We're hardy, wintry folk. I think we'll be okay, you guys. Yeah, we sure are, as long as you haven't packed that stuff away for the season. Yeah. Well, you should know better. It's April. <laughs> we should. Uh, hey, uh, thanks for highlighting this, Josh. <laughs> it's important and uh, a big, uh, big benefit for the Fitchburg community with all they have to offer. So uh, go support them and help them out. Thanks, Josh. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out to him on social media or shoot him an email for a chance to be featured. It is 647 on your Monday. It's also flood season. There's one community taking the brunt of it. Pretty unbelievable pictures of the hardest hit spots coming up in the morning sprint. And we want to say happy birthday this morning to a couple of kiddos, Evan and Kinley, who are both turning three today. Thanks for celebrating with us. We'll be right back. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. It's spring break at Bob's, and I'm introducing my biggest, bestest backyard collection ever. Soak up the sun in outdoor furniture that comes with comfort, quality, and of course, my everyday low prices. You deserve a break. Spring break at Bob's. It's Blaine's Farm and Fleet of Baraboo's grand reopening event this Thursday through Saturday. Join us for huge store-wide savings in every department. Enter daily for your chance to win over $10,000 worth of gift cards and prizes. Test a variety of new Milwaukee and DeWalt power tools and catch daily on-site demos from experts in pet, ag, automotive and more. Don't miss Blaine's Farm and Fleet of Baraboo's grand reopening event starting this Thursday. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. We, we're doing everything we can to reduce our carbon footprint. We, we are 100% employee owned. We are Barnes. Landscape design can be overwhelming. Our experienced residential landscape designers work together with you to make any vision come to life. 
Welcome to Barnesville. From planting to tree and shrub pruning, seeding to sodding, mowing to mulching, and everything in between. Discover the Barnes difference. Get started at BarnesInc.net. Good news. This just in. Your Ford dealers have fresh shipments of their award-winning SUV lineup in stock and ready for you to drive home today. Get your hands on a new Ford, the number one brand in SUV owner loyalty, including Bronco Sport with standard goat modes and Explorer, America's all-time best-selling SUV. And now, here's more good news. Choose FlexBuy on Explorer or Edge and get 0.9% APR financing for 66 months plus 500 FlexBuy cash. Imagine life without that awful joint pain in your knees, hips, shoulders, and back. Now there's an amazing non-invasive medical option available here. Regenerative treatments at QC Kinetics. No surgery, no steroids. A natural solution that helps restore damaged tissue in your joints with long-lasting results. Don't spend one more day in pain. Call QC Kinetics for a free consultation. Learn more about these non-surgical procedures at QC Kinetics. What makes L'Oreal Paris Hyaluronic Acid Serum loved by so many? Our highest concentration of pure hyaluronic acid. Wrinkles are less visible by up to 47%. Validated by dermatologists. Revitalift Hyaluronic Acid Serum by L'Oreal. Hey, it's your dry skin. Every day we lose ceramides I need to seal in moisture. CeraVe delivers three essential ceramides to help restore my barrier so I can lock in moisture, feel hydrated, and look healthy. CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotions. People are buzzing about my highly rated bedrooms, like my Tremont Queen bedroom set, my romantic Scarlet collection. Go glam with Diva 2. See what all the buzz is about at Bob's Discount Furniture. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. 6.51, time for the morning sprint. We start with breaking news. In the city of Sun Prairie, crews there responding to a fire at a gas station. This is a live look at the BP on County Highway TT, just off the interstate near the Cottage Grove Park and Ride. You can see one fire truck still on scene right now. Most crews have since left as the fire is currently out. Stay with News 3 now this morning as we learn more. To our other top story, near record flooding in Prairie du Chien this morning. Take a look at these pictures. These are from the Crawford County Emergency Management Department. Entire roads and parks underwater in that town. Flooding is expected to crest later this week, so it's going to get worse at over 25 feet. The town is opening up an evacuation center and handing out sandbags to houses that need them. Hey, good morning, meteorologist Kelly Slifkin. As we talk about the Mississippi River getting into moderate flood stage already for many locations, even some major flooding up there in Wabasha. This is these are levels that we haven't seen in 20 years, and it will likely continue to rise as we go throughout the week. Should be starting to taper off uh, later in the weekend of the weekend, but then obviously that water runs downstream. So we're looking at uh, some moderate flooding here in Dubuque, down toward Gutenberg, Iowa. Uh, flood levels, though, way up there and looking to crest at about 21 feet. So that'll be some major flooding later this week. All right, Kelly, thank you very much. There's a court appearance scheduled today for a man accused of making threats against UW-Madison. Thomas Hansen facing charges of making terroristic threats against the university near the end of February. Police didn't say what kind of threats he made, but that they were posted to the social media platform Yik Yak. Middleton police still looking for a man they say walked into a stranger's home over the weekend. It happened on North High Point Road just across the Beltline from the Comfort Suites Hotel around 1030. A resident reported a man they didn't know entered the home. They got into a fight and the resident reportedly scared off the intruder. Any witnesses in the area are asked to contact Middleton Police or Madison Area Crime Stoppers. Police have one person under arrest and are looking for another suspect after a high-speed chase through Oregon. It happened around midnight Friday. An officer making a traffic stop was about to have his canine sniff around the vehicle when the driver took off. That driver arrested for charges related to drug possession. Police are still searching for the passenger. The Dane County Humane Society welcoming several out-of-state dogs to its facilities today. The dogs are being flown in from Texas, where animal shelters there are facing some extreme overcrowding. A nonprofit is flying the 80 high-risk dogs to three airports around the Midwest. The dogs will be up for adoption at the Humane Society. You're also encouraged to become a foster volunteer. And in Israel this morning, tens of thousands of residents there turning out for a protest for a 16th consecutive week against the government's plan to overhaul the judicial system. They vented their opposition to the plan that they're calling an attack on democracy. 
The weekly protests have continued across Israel despite Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu announcing a pause on reforms last month. Bed Bath & Beyond filing for bankruptcy this morning. The company says it will stop accepting coupons on Wednesday. Bed Bath & Beyond expects to offer deep discounts as part of its going out of business sales. Profits for the company took a hit after clo stores closed during the pandemic. They've been trying to cut costs by closing more than half of its stores since late last year. Well, this is not what you want to see when you look out the window if you're flying. Look Yikes. at the flame shooting Oof. out of the engine in the wing. Uh, this is uh, taken from passengers on a flight about to take off from Charlotte Douglas International in North Carolina. Uh, flames shooting out from the wing again. A spokesperson for American Airlines reported the plane had a mechanical issue. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, but it is unclear exactly what caused the fire. The pilot was able to taxi the plane back to the gate safely. In Utah, two homes sliding off a cliff following a landslide. Take a look at this video. This is Unbelievable. incredible. Two homes on either side of the properties are evacuated this morning. All of this caught on camera. Watch this house. It breaks in half as it falls Whole as part of this gone. landslide. Ugh. Look at that. Fortunately, nobody injured here. This happened in Draper City, south of Salt Lake City. City officials blamed the melting snowpack and then the changes in soil conditions. Well, uh, we're watching a developing situation in the Sudan this morning. The U.S. military has rescued 100 American embassy workers from Sudan as the country is on the brink of civil war. Two Chinook helicopters and 100 special operations commandos had to be sent in to help with evacuations. Other countries are also evacuating their citizens as the violence escalates, leaving 400 dead, including one American. And in La Crosse, a time-honored tradition, Boy Scouts participating in the annual Pinewood Derby. 49 Scouts raced their custom cars in the friendly tournament. It's a return to normal, the first return to the Derby since the pandemic. The very first ever Pinewood Derby was held 69 years ago in Manhattan Beach, California. Good morning, four minutes away from the straight up seven o'clock as we are looking at some chilly conditions this morning, upper 20s to around 30 this morning. We'll see some sun this morning, but the clouds will thicken up later this morning into the afternoon. Can't rule out a spotty shower throughout the day and later this afternoon. Temperatures rising in the low 50s, at least we're out of the 40s, what we had this weekend. But rather cool the next few days, but we do have some warmer weather by the end of the week before another cold front brings us some rain and cool weather for the weekend. All right, Kelly Slifka, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We'll be back for a news and weather update in 30 minutes.